Today I'm going to show you some blending basics. So what you'll need is your nice Copic quality paper. Oops, my markers are rolling. Put them up there. All right. First, what you'll need is this nice paper. It's thick and very smooth. And you need some sort of paper underneath your paper because your markers are going to bleed through. And that's a good thing. If your markers are bleeding through, that means you're saturating your paper well. So I just put a piece of computer paper underneath whatever I'm coloring so that I know that I'm not going to bleed through onto my table or my surface, whatever I'm using. So I just picked out some markers to use. Got E33, 35, and 37. So they're browns that are all in the same color family. And so we've got a dark, medium, and a light. And I also have a colorless blender because I'll show you what to do with that here in a second. So you just need to pick two or three colors in the same color family to use when you're blending so that you can get a nice shading gradient. Okay, so first I'm going to use the light one. And I'm going to use the super brush tip. And when you're using Copics, you want to go in a circular motion and just saturate your paper. You want to have a smooth looking surface when you're done. So I'm going to just keep going in this little circle. Okay. Put your marker lid on and there's the back of the paper. You can see I saturated the back so that means my paper's well saturated and it bled through just a teeny tiny bit onto my computer paper. Not too bad. So I put down my lightest shade. Now I'm going to go back and put in some of my medium shade. I'm going to do the same thing. Use my super brush tip and go in a circular motion until I get a well saturated area. And then I'm going to go in with my darker color and do the same thing. Just a little bit of darker. I've created a little gradient here. And to smooth this all together and make it look better, I'm going to grab my lightest color again, E33, and go back over everything. Get it to blend in together. And you want to blend until you don't see any more harsh lines. You can see my harsh lines disappeared. I'm left with just a shaded gradient, and that's what you want. You can look on the back and make sure your paper is fully saturated. Everything looks smooth in there. That's what you're going for. And let me show you how to use this colorless blender. Um, the colorless blender, rather than blending, it's going to take color away. So you can use it, make a lighter area. You don't want to use it too much because it's going to take the color off pretty quick. And then you can blend a little bit better. And then, see all these little edges? You can see around I have these little extra marks around my little circle area. You can take your medium broad tip and push the color back in. kind of gets rid of those little outside areas. Once it dries, you can see those areas are a little bit disappearing. That's it.